question. What is the poorest continent in the world? If you answered Africa, you were right. Of the 20 poorest countries in the world, 18 of them are located on the continent of Africa. The other two are Haiti in our own hemisphere and Afghanistan. Now, a second question. On which continent is the church growing at the fastest rate? Did you say Africa again? Then you're right again. This month, Pope Benedict has asked us to pray that Christian communities may have a growing willingness to send missionaries, priests, and lay people, along with concrete resources, to the poorest churches. Maybe you wonder about this because in your diocese, or maybe even in your own parish, you are served by a priest or sister from Africa. Africa is being blessed with many religious vocations, and some of them are coming to the U.S. to help. Then why should we, in the words of the Pope, have a growing willingness to send missionaries, priests, and lay people to the poorest churches? We can understand sending material and financial resources, but why is it important to send human resources? There are a couple reasons. One is because of the expertise that highly educated and experienced missionaries can bring to the poorest countries. They can help with programs that work at providing clean water and preventing disease, and agricultural programs that help care for the land and prevent the desertification that is going on in many parts of Africa. They can bring medical expertise to the sick in places where, because of the high poverty levels, the age expectancy is extremely low. They can bring academic skills and spiritual direction to the seminaries and formation programs for consecrated persons. Yes, the U.S. is rich, not only in material resources, but in people who have the training and experience that can help our brothers and sisters in the poorest countries. But there is another reason for sending missionaries to the poorest countries where there may be many religious vocations already. When they return to the U.S., they help us see the bigger picture. They help us to see the universal church and to know the face of Christ that they've encountered in other parts of the world. In 1971, Pope Paul VI created a new pontifical council to coordinate the church's many charitable activities and to respond to humanitarian crises when they occurred. He called it Cor Unum, or One Heart, and explained that he gave the council that name because it is, quote, a heart that beats in rhythm with the heart of Christ, whose pity for the hungry multitudes reaches them even in their spiritual hunger. A dozen years later, Blessed John Paul II told the members of Cor Unum, you are, in a certain sense, the eye that spots the multiple poverties. You are the heart that has compassion and wants to do for the other who is in need what one would wish for oneself. You are the hand that is stretched out fraternally and gives practical help. May our eyes and hearts be open this month to the needs of the poorest churches, and may our prayer lead us to consider ways that we can support them.